Hello, Gemini. And welcome to your Who's Coming Towards You reading. Remember that this reading does not necessarily have any specific date on it. Whenever this message finds you, and whenever you find this message, then this reading will be for you at this given time. Before we jump right into your reading, I have a really quick and super exciting announcement to make, and that is to introduce today's video sponsor brought to you by Keen. With Valentine's Day right around the corner, Keen can provide specific answers you seek. Keen is one of the top leading networks of psychics, spiritual guides, astrologers, and advisors that can answer any of your personal life questions quickly and from anywhere in in the world. What I mostly love about Keen is their instantly available advisors who are online 24-7 worldwide. So basically, no matter what day or time, you will always find available sessions with super flexible pricing and you get to choose the specific amount of time you want to spend talking to the advisor of your choice. Also, what I love about Keen is their super easy sign-up process. You basically put your name, your birthday, answer a few questions, and you'll automatically be matched with the best advisors based on your answers. Or you can choose to browse through all of the profiles of psychics, mediums, advisors, read through them, and select your favorite one. My personal experience with Keen has been really great so far, since I prefer advisors who are very detailed and very precise. So I suggest for you to browse through several advisors first before selecting the one that is best fit for for you. That way you can spend most of your time talking to the one that can answer all of your questions. So if you are interested in trying out one of the psychics or advisors from Keen, head down to my link trykeen.com slash Gina Moon to get your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. So definitely go check that out. Again, it's trykeen.com slash Gina Moon to get your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. And a huge, huge thank you to Keen for sponsoring today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and let's jump right into your reading. All right, my beautiful Geminis, you are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll, the two of pentacles. So indecisions. Okay. So somebody here is trying to make a decision about something or someone, but there's something here keeping them back from making that final choice. Okay. Now let's see what exactly is this pertaining. This is pertaining to, for some of you guys, a love situation, a brand new beginning in love, opening up the heart. Okay. Somebody here is about to open up their heart chakra, opening up that, that kind of like expression, expressing their emotions, that sort of thing. Now I do see here the blockage for you this week is kind of like, you know, saying, saying no to something that you're used to saying yes to. And the blockage could also be, you know, some kind of, you know, drawing the line, you know, this kind of energy where maybe this has been going on for way too long. And so it might be a little bit difficult for you to kind of like, you know, draw the line in some kind of way, even though the universe is telling you that that's what you have to do this week. Now, I do see here that you are just coming out of a state of chaos, or some of you guys feel like you are already coming out of a state of anxiety and feeling like you were losing yourself. But I feel like during this time, you guys have found yourself again. You guys have found your soul, okay? Now, I do see here the King of Pentacles is kind of like in the energy of the root of the issue. So the root of the issue pertains to some kind of lack of confidence or some kind of lack of self-esteem. It could also be lack of money, okay? Maybe somebody here is dealing with a lack of financial abundance, that sort of thing. Now, I do see here in the past energy, someone here took a step back because they were giving way too much to a situation. And so they felt the need to take a step back to see what the other person had to deliver. Now, I do see here coming your way is a brand new beginning, a brand new beginning in love and also with a lot of potential. Something here is blossoming. Something here is about to start again, okay? Now, this could be relationship harmony. This could be related to a career venture. It could be related to money, family, whatever it is that you are getting yourself involved in. But whatever the case may be, I do see here the page of cups is in your subconscious. So something here that is kind of like, you know, it's, it's kind of like the energy where you kind of either want to deliver a message or a message will be delivered to you or you desire somebody to deliver this message to you or some kind of an apology. But I feel like this is coming with nervous energy, okay? I feel like this energy where either whether you want to deliver the message or whether you are anticipating a message from somebody, I feel like it's kind of like still at phase 
one of a, of a cycle. I feel like the situation has not yet unfolded. You still don't know a lot about the situation. There's more to the situation than, than what might kind of be presented um, on the surface, okay? Now I do see here the four of wands is sitting in your in your energy of how the other person sees you, okay? So this person does see you as marriage potential. They see you as marriage material. They do see you as someone very solid, very stable. I do sense that this person wants to, some, to kind of like, you know, go out with you in some kind of celebration, some kind of gathering, maybe inviting you out in some kind of way, you know, some kind of celebration or party or something like that. Now I do see here, you also could be dealing with the sign of Pisces, does not have to be, but you're action advice this week is to really kind of go deep into your emotions to see to figure out what it is that you want about the situation ponder what it is that you want okay because the timing may be out of alignment at this moment with your particular intention so use this time to really gain a better understanding about the situation and kind of like contemplate what it is that you truly want out of it because this may be a chance for you to kind of like have this optimal turn of events go in your favor if you really do take a step back and do that now Again, here with the Four of Swords, you know, the outcome will be somebody here taking a little bit of a step back to really contemplate on what it is that they want, okay? The situation is becoming a little bit of a, of a reflection of what you are trying to avoid. So it's time for you to, le to look deeper within yourself and ask yourself, okay, what it is, what, what is it, excuse me, what is it that I fear or what is it that I have been fearing to do or to say so that you're able to bring that fear out into the open, transmute it into something positive, okay? Because because I do sense that there is something here needing to be done, some change, some choice needing to be kind of like done in this in this kind of, you know, in this kind of way where it's going to be kind of like very relevant where a choice has to be made. But again, before making that choice, it's going to ask you to take a little bit of a step back to really rehash things because I feel like whoever this other person is, somebody here does want to come in with some kind of communication, but they're a little bit nervous. Now, there's going to be some kind of a tower moment. So whoever has been in denial about something, the universe is about to step in to kind of give you a little bit of a gentle push so that you can finally do whatever it is that you have to do and face that fear, face that denial, whatever it is. But if you do want to learn more about who this other person is, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, go ahead and click on the description box below. The link to the extended is down there. That's where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. But let's go ahead and get one second, or actually one yes or no answer for you. So as I shuffle, Let's go ahead and get one yes or no answer for you. Ask your question and you will be getting a yes or no answer to a burning question. But before we go into that, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and take the time right now to hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you are notified each and every single week that I post. I post each and every single week for every single Zodiac sign. So make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also give this video a thumbs up, hit that notification bell because it really helps me and it also helps the algorithm so that I can continue posting more readings like these for you guys on this platform, okay? And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Gina Moon Official as I will be posting a lot more on there. All right, back to your question. Is this a yes or no? That is a definite yes. So this is kind of like invest in that which you know is going to work out in your favor, okay? I feel like this is going to be leading you to a fresh new start. Whatever this is for you, you have known of this new venture for quite some time now. And I feel like that whatever this is that you are investing your time in, and it's asking you, okay, it's not going to be easy for you to really kind of, you know, get your attainment. There will be some sacrifices and some roadblocks, but I feel like you are protected the whole way. So whatever it is that this is for you, I feel like it's going to resonate with your calling. It's going to resonate with something here within your soul that's going to move you forward, okay? I feel like your courage and your determination are going to be well celebrated. So that's a definite yes here for you. Now let's roll the dice to see what the dice has here for you. What does the dice have here for this week? You have here the sign of Aquarius as well as a number four. So the number four is this kind of energy of stability, okay, structure. This is also the energy of family related kind of like um, situations. Maybe for some of you guys, this has to do with your roots, where you come from, your family, you know, that sort of thing. So connect to, to those areas of your life this week. Now here we have also the sign of Aquarius. So here with the sign of Aquarius, this is a beautiful kind of energy 
of expanding your social scene, your social environment, making plans for the future, progress, progressive change, invention, some kind of potential. And even if, in, if you're involving yourself in some kind of career ventures or some kind of project, rebelling and going against the norm is going to benefit you this week, okay? Thinking outside the box. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and get one affirmation and mantra message for you. What is your affirmation and mantra message for this week? All right, I release all doubts and insecurities about myself. So it's time for you to release all doubts, all insecurities about yourself and know your worth. This is a time, this is a week for you to realize your value, your worth, and make sure and certain that you kind of work from that area of your alignment center, okay? You know what you want, you know that you're in alignment with what you want, and so therefore you're able to magnetize situations into your reality. But first you have to release all doubts and insecurities about yourself. Beautiful. Gemini, this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Also check out GinaMoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and much, much more for both men and women. So check those out at GinaMoon.com and follow me on Instagram at GinaMoonOfficial as I will be posting more on there. And remember that the link to the extended is down in the description box below. And remember to check out my new video on my new channel, Maya Sky, just posted this week on why your manifestations are stuck, why you're taking longer to manifest, and how you can clear your energy to actually start manifesting. You can find the direct link to this new video for my new channel, Maya Sky, down in the description box below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you are notified and alerted of all your new upcoming readings. And you can now find my new manifestation affirmation video on my website by visiting ginamoon.com and clicking on the affirmations tab. Here you can manifest a home, you can manifest love, money, abundance, happiness, how to heal emotionally, how to cut toxic ties, how to awaken more energized and become more attractive to other people. And you can do this all while you sleep. So make sure to check out my website at ginamoon.com and click on the affirmations tab. And you can also check out the link down in the description box below. I do hope that you enjoyed your reading. If you are interested in watching the extended reading, go ahead and click on the description box below. The link to the extended is down there. That's where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended readings. I'm so happy that you guys are loving the extended readings so, so much. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to hit that like button now and subscribe so that you are notified on a weekly basis. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified each and every single week that I post. I post for every single zodiac sign each and every single week. It really helps me and it helps the algorithm so that I can continue posting more readings like these for you guys on this platform. And also, don't forget to visit ginamoon.com and click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, bracelets, crystals, and much, much more. And if you are interested in ordering this gorgeous, beautiful sun and moon ring here, it's the official Gina Moon ring, then go ahead and check out my website by visiting ginamoon.com and click on shop. It is finally up on the website. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the extended. Bye-bye. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.